handoff to Jonathan oh. Taylor. Loose hole. He's at the 30. He's going to go. 10, 5, touchdown. Jonathan Taylor made a man miss the line of scrimmage and then runs it into Pater. And a one-handed INT. Are you kidding me? Kenny Moore. What a play by Naheem Hines. Horseshoe is back, baby. The horseshoe is back. What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. Today, we have a very special guest joining us today, defensive tackle for the Indianapolis Colts, Taylor Stallworth. Taylor, thank you so much for joining us today, man. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. It's great being on the show today, man. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Uh, so curious for you, Taylor, what's this offseason been like for you, man? Like have you had a vacation. Have you been working out with teammates? What's it kind of been like for you now? You know, second year in Indianapolis. Uh, honestly, I've been back home. Like I've been back home in Mobile, um, training, running my gym back there with Deshaun, uh, Coach T, that some guys that I know back at Mobile. And also, I just came back from Vegas out there with um, D-Buck and um, Ben. Okay. So. That was a great experience, first time out there, and then also like good to be around a group of guys and just a uh, just a different group of guys and just training and get to know each other. So that was fun. So absolutely, I mean, so yeah. Since you said down in Mobile, uh, did you get to go to see any of the uh, Senior Bowl, any of that stuff, or did you not go to that? Uh no, I didn't. Like I didn't at, actually. I was so busy at the gym, like I didn't even know. Like I did go to see like a practice and saw a couple guys down there, but really go to the senior bowl game. Nah, not really. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I mean, obviously this off season uh, is a little different already than what it was last off season. Um, you know, when it comes to COVID and everything else changing. I mean, it's safe to say that last seat off season for especially you players and the coaches and the teams was a lot different than anything that we've ever seen before. Uh, what was last off season like for you specifically, you know, dealing with COVID uh, doing uh, different ways of communicating with teammates, doing drills and stuff in the in media and whatever. How, how was that for you? Uh, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a different transition to go into like, just having to deal with all the different Zoom calls and WebEx calls and the struggles on early on with that, like the the miscommunication along with that and just not being able to go in the facility, being around the guys. And, you know, last offseason, I transitioned from New Orleans to the coast. So like right before camp started. So I didn't I didn't get to experience the whole offseason with the coach, as you mm-hmm. know, like, the Zoom called Miles with New Orleans, so that's a whole different other story. So, like, just with that, and then just coming in, and you know, the limitations around in the locker room, it was just a different vibe. Like, but you know, we all came together and you know, pulled through it, and you know, made that season a beautiful season. Like, you know, it was a great season, but the transition was tough, but everybody I felt like handled it properly, and you know, even though that was challenges ups and downs we was able to fight through it so Mm. yeah you mentioned that you know going from new orleans to indianapolis i'm kind of curious uh you know kind of going off of that what was kind of your thought process and why did you choose indianapolis over i'm sure i'm assuming there was other teams that were interested in your services as well why the colts specifically well they're up and coming team like up and coming young team you know full of energy full of fire you know just great coaching staff at that like the coaching staff is just among just hands down one of the best on um, the training staff also just one of the best too. So, you know, coming to a team like this, you know, with um, guys that just high energy guys like D Leonard, you know, playing alongside <laughs> D Buck, you know, another guy, big Grove, all y'all know Grove store. So just being around them guys, like high energy guys also on the offensive side too, just, it was just a different feeling. Like, like leaving new Orleans to, um, coming to coach, like, it really wasn't a hard transition because them guys welcomed me in with uh, open hands, like, really like a family almost. Well, that's great to hear. You know, I mean, we, we Cody and I and a lot of Colts Nation have really seen what Ballard and Reich have done to the locker room. They really make it feel like it's not just a team. It's, it's a family. You know, you support one another. You do everything with each other. It's really good to hear that. Uh, so, I mean, obviously transitioning from that locker room in New Orleans to 
the locker room in Indianapolis wasn't too difficult for you, which is great. But what was it like, I mean, transitioning to the whole new defense? Because like you say, you were with New Orleans, and then a week later you're with Indianapolis, and you're with Indianapolis a little more than a month before the season starts, so you didn't have as much time to learn the defensive scheme as everybody else in the room. So take us through that a little bit. How difficult was that for you? Uh, well, the coach staff did a great job helping me out, also along with the guys, also doing extra stuff with me outside of meetings. Um, you know, Coach um, um, Bacon, also Coach Rage, also gave me, like, different walkthroughs, stereos, like, during that whole month so I can be able to, like, you know, speed up the process because they knew I was fine. So, you know, coming in, leaving from one defense to another defense, totally different defenses. So, you know, they did um they they took the great steps and like we did great things to get me up to speed so I can be comfortable with like the defense and able to go into the season knowing what I'm doing and feeling comfortable to play. Cool, cool. Awesome. Well, you know, you mentioned last season a little bit, um, how it was a really good year for you guys. I mean, obviously playoff berth, wild card. Uh you you got to the wild card with that crazy AFC with how many good teams there were, you guys were still able to sneak in. Uh, yeah. So from your perspective, you know, coming to the Indianapolis Colts, how do you feel like you guys did as a team overall? And what was probably your favorite moment of last season? Uh, overall, as a team, I feel like we did great. Like we we finished off where we really didn't want to finish off there, you know, tough loss and uh, wild card. But, you know, can't win them all. So, you know, that's just a pill for us to swallow and something that, you know, look forward to this season, you know, uh-huh. have a chip on our shoulder. But, you know, honestly, one of the greatest – I can't I can't even begin to tell you just one great moment, honestly. Like every moment throughout the whole season, like each like it, it all started in locking room, honestly. Like it, it, it's not no great moments the whole year, like just being around the group of guys, being around that organization, like it really just really just like a true family there. So really like the whole year was just great, honestly, like the whole round. But hey, I, I, that's great, yeah. I say I wanna say ah, that is that's tough. That's tough. That's a hard question. There are special. There are special tackle <laughs> that you had, or you got a uh, you beat a guy on an offensive line that you didn't think you could beat. Uh, it was the Raiders game, and it was um me and D. Leno was actually fighting for the ball. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> who got it? I, I don't even remember who got the I ball. Ended up getting, but like we was literally at the bottom of the <laughs> let, me get, let me get no, let me get no, no, let me get like literally. <laughs> That's like, great. Coach, coach, like, all right, guys, like, you know, <laughs> fight each other for the ball. Like, it was just like, it was just oh, uh, numerous moments like that just throughout the year. Just great moments. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Darius Leonard for you. Even when yeah. he knows that his teammate has the ball still, still wanting to come up with it because that stat matters. <laughs> uh, but, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it has to be fun playing alongside guys like that, like Darius Leonard. And, you know, that high energy is very contagious. Uh, Uh What about guys like, you know, obviously Buckner came in, became a huge presence on that defensive line. And Grover Stewart, who was looking to take a leap from uh, 2019 to 2020, and he really did that. I mean, got that contract extension because of it. I mean, you, Stewart, Buckner, and all these other guys really helped solidify the Colts' defense as one of the top defenses to stop the run in all the NFL. I mean, how lo- how fun was it to play alongside guys like that? Um, it was it was really fun, you know, having D Leonard behind us, A Walk, you know, Bobby, all those guys, you know, knowing that they're behind us and knowing they knowing that they trust in us that we're gonna do our jobs and they're gonna do our jobs. So just going out there playing freely because we know that the man beside us is gonna do what they have to do for that play. So just being around that type of energy and just going out there, like the energy is just through the roof. Like it's a, it's different. Like we all like it all fun, look fun again, but like being on that field, like it's just a, it's just a different energy, especially what D Leonard bring to the game. I've never been around nothing like it. Like he's a maniac <laughs> for a reason. Man. That Absolutely. Name, so, and like also being around big road, you know, big bad road. That's what I call him. You know, for <laughs> that contract, you feel me, you know, well, well deserved on that one. So, you know, just being around guys like that, you know, I know that they trust in me. I trust in them. I know what they're going to bring to the table every single play. So it was great. Awesome. That's good, man. That's awesome to hear that. Um, so a two part question for you. First off, how do you feel like the season went for you personally? And then second off, what do you feel like 
for you personally, you know, everybody has goals. What do you feel like you want to improve on going into 2021? Um, I feel like last season I I improved a lot from my previous two years um, in the NFL. So, you know, bringing a different game to the um, – my different – bringing my game up different notch to the table and, you know, showing that I could do different things. And this year I really want to improve on my, you know, rush, you know, being able to be more high motor and, you know, just doing more, really, just giving more, like, being able to do more. So, you know, being more versatile, really. Gotcha. All right. Well, here's some here's something we normally don't do on uh, other things for interviews. We're going to change it up a little bit. We came up with some personal questions just so our subscribers and people in Colts Nation can kind of get to know a little bit more about you as the player and as the person. Gotcha. So one thing that Zach, our buddy Zach, who helps us with the podcast, wanted to ask was what inspired you to start playing football? When did that start? Uh, that started in high school, honestly. Uh, out every if, a lot of people don't know this, but I played baseball like growing up, <laughs> like, yes, big okay. baseball, like playing baseball growing up all the way into high school. That's why I transitioned from baseball to football, and okay. it was really over really over jealousy, honestly. Like, right. nobody was coming to the baseball games, and everybody was going. To <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's good. <laughs> That's, That's good. awesome. Um, yeah, so I have a question for you. Uh, what are some hobbies that you have outside of football? Um, I really enjoy cooking. Love cooking. Okay. Um, yeah. Love cooking. Of course, video games. Big Call of Duty guy. Big 2K guy. Um, I also, I started to pick up a um, hobby, you know, golfing. Started picking that up, you know. Getting okay. Out, trying that out. Um, fishing, hunting. Really, really anything outdoors like ATVs, dirt bikes, you know. All right, it, it well, sounded well, like such perfect. a fun guy already. I want to take you out to the back road. <laughs> well, let's go, just let's go, go fishing some stuff, time, man. Dude, seriously, um, yeah. <laughs> no, that's great, man. Actually, it was funny. I was talking to Derek off air, and I was like, if he says hunting and fishing, I gotta ask, have you gone with Grover fishing before? And also, I know Carson Wentz and Buckner are obviously big hunters. Have you gone with them, and are you planning a hunting trip with those guys? Nah, I never, I, I haven't been, but we definitely need to plan a trip together. Like I know, um, Buck, he just went on a big bull uh, hunting right there, and I know Grove be fishing, but me and Grove talked about it, but never did it though. So, ah, uh, gotcha. All right, so real quick before I get into mine, favorite thing to cook, and your favorite Call of Duty? I have to know that one. Of course, uh, I like the new one. I like the new one. I like the new Call of Duty. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this tough. Uh, Ooh. Ah, uh, that's tough. Um, <laughs> I really like to mix it up, honestly. Like, okay. either between, um, I like lamb. I like to do little things with lamb. I like to okay. do a little bison if y'all ever had that deer meat. Um, oh, but a bit, deer meat. that's why I really like to create. All right. Sauces with that, the big seafood. That, but I like to do a little, th like, really, I've I really been testing out lamb and bison, really. So, gotcha, gotcha. All right. So, everybody, every athlete has a favorite artist that they listen to before they come in for game days to get themselves in the right type of mindset. Favorite artist to listen to to get hype for game day? Uh, I'm going to have to say Uzi, honestly. Yeah. Uzi, all right, all right. <laughs> right. Uh, a favorite song from him that is a go-to every time? Moment of Clarity. Yeah. All right, all right. There you I go. There we go. I, I think a lot of people like that one. All right. Clarity. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, next question I have for you here, Taylor. So I know, like, in my job, like, a lot of par – a part of my job is going up and speaking in front of people, and there are still times when I get nervous, you know, doing that. I'm curious for you, um, even though you've been in the league for a couple of years, do the nerves still come up sometimes? Yeah, of course. Like, you know, you still get that little nervous feeling, a little sweaty in the palms feeling, but, you know, you just got to soak that up and just, you know, just go do it, you know? Like, just do it. Like, ain't nothing mm -hmm. going to happen, but do it. So, yeah, that nerve still come up, but, you know, all I do is just put it back down. You just go do what I have to go do. Gotcha, gotcha. So um, we kind of already talked a little bit about, you know, some of the guys that you hang out with on the field and you interact with a lot in the facility. But uh, who's who's your favorite person 
to talk to or hang out with outside of the facility if you have and if you're willing to share that? Ah, uh, see, <laughs> that's a tricky question. That's a that's a that's a loophole. I put you in a situation where uh, <laughs> some you know one of the guys might hear this. So, <laughs> my favorite person to hang out with outside the facility, honestly, I might just say my dog Riley. Oh, there we go. All right, all that's right. perfect. I got you. All what right. kind of dog? I'm curious now. Uh, she's a mix between a pit bull and a boxer. Oh, so okay, cool. I'm gonna have to say her. So. Oh. That's a good answer right there. <laughs> um, so I'm curious for you, um, you know, who, who was kind of, you know, growing up, um, you know, you said you kind of got your inspiration in high school. I'm kind of curious, who are some people that you like really like looked up to in the NFL, maybe growing up and, and you know, just, just watching players overall, um, specifically maybe guys at your position? Hmm. See, I really didn't start focus on to my position until I like, want to say really like looking into guys. Want to say until I got to college, because okay. like I said, I was baseball, so like used to run a lot. So I used to always think I was fast. So in my head, I thought I was a running back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. So I was like, man, I'm gonna run through people, but you know, I also look at the um, just all the greats, honestly, just you know, especially like the new guys like AD. You know, look what he brings to the game. You know, we got long side guys like D Buck would look like what he brings to the game. You know, all the old school legends. So really just that. That's why I really learned my game and like start to focus my game on really. Gotcha. Are you uh are you a night out on the town kind of guy, you know, like to go out and shoot your luck around, or are you uh you somebody that just prefers to stay inside and chill? Um I'm a I'm a homebody. You know, right. I just like to chill inside, you know. Really just joy time with my friends and family and loved ones, really. So all right, cool, cool. Good answer. I'm I'm probably kind of the same way too. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's nice, especially with everything going on. It's probably been a lot easier to do that as well. Yeah. Um, well, awesome. Well, thank you, Taylor, so much, man, for coming on, giving us a little bit of your time, a little bit of a look into you know who Taylor Stallworth is, yes, as a player and also just as the person. I really appreciate your time, man. I no, appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for having me on, though. Thank you very much. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this one. Be sure to let us know what you guys think. Be sure to keep up with everything. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much, as always. And as always, go Colts. Yeah.